<laughs> Ghosts, goblins, haunted houses. It's the time of the year that you want to be scared, right? So today I'm going to take you on a tour of the scariest room in your house, your kitchen. No, not because it's filthy. I know we all try our best to keep our houses and our, especially our kitchens clean. So what's so spooky about it? Well, even if you've been eating a healthy diet for years, you've probably got some secret spooky foods stashed in your pantry. I'm talking about diet foods that aren't good for the diet or your gut at all. Now, you already know about things like beans, wheat, and other lectin-heavy grains and legumes, so I'll skip over those, even though I'm dressed like one of the spookiest foods of all, the peanut. But they're not the only foods messing with your system. In fact, some of the biggest health food trends may actually be doing more harm than good, like gluten-free. But wait, you said gluten is bad for me, so why isn't gluten-free food good? Well, some of it is, but if you're shopping the gluten-free section of your average grocery store, you're still buying food that's high in lectins, brown rice flour, corn flour, oat flour, plus most gluten-free foods are loaded in sugar, far more than the gluten-containing food they replace. So even though they're gluten-free, they're terrible for your gut. Low-fat. Turns out the biggest diet trend in the 80s and 90s, low-fat food was dead wrong. The truth is eating fat doesn't make you fat. In fact, foods rich in healthy fats are diet staples for some of the healthiest people in the world. And here's the thing about fat, it makes food flavorful. So when big food companies take the fat out of food, they have to do other things to keep it delicious. They add tons of salt and even more sugar to replace the flavor from fat. That's right, they're taking out something that could be good for you and adding unhealthy ingredients in its place. Green juice and smoothies. Here in Southern California, juice stores are everywhere. If you're drinking straight up kale juice, that's not inherently bad for you. But here's the thing, you're better off eating your greens. That way you get to enjoy all that gut healthy fiber instead of throwing it out. In fact, you're better off throwing out the juice and eating the fiber left in your juicer. You know, the stuff that most people throw out. It's actually good in baked goods or mixed into a goat yogurt. And don't get me started on bottled green juice or smoothies. Most of them have tons of added sugar. And sure, that sugar may have come from fruit, but you know what I say, fruit is nature's candy. That means you shouldn't go overboard and eat a ton of it. And those juices and smoothies, some of them have four, five, even six servings of fruit each. Not exactly moderation, if you ask me. Yogurt. In the past few years, it seems like Greek yogurt is the new whole grains, in that it's a trendy health food that pops up in everything. But here's the thing about Greek yogurt. It's not Greek at all. It doesn't come from Greece. In fact, the Greek yogurt sold in this country comes from regular old American cows. So it's got plenty of casein A1 in it. That's the protein most people who think they're lactose intolerant actually have a problem with. But what about the probiotics? Well, most yogurt on the shelves is actually pretty low in live active probiotics, if they have any at all. And flavored yogurts are so high in sugar that it balances out any benefits. Sports drinks. Please don't fall for the advertising. Just because your favorite athlete is selling the drink doesn't mean it's healthy. And sure, if you're training for eight to 10 hours a day like an elite athlete is, you can probably get away with the occasional sports drink. But why? They're high in sugar or worse, artificial sweeteners. And for the average person, you're better off drinking water at the gym or to recover from a workout. So what's the big takeaway here? Just because it's marketed as healthy doesn't mean it's actually healthy. Shop smart, read labels carefully, and whatever you do, don't fall for marketing tricks. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. 
Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.